Welcome to the wonderful world of balloon stuffing. The Keepsake Stuffer is a unique gift wrapping system designed to capture the imagination of customers in a profitable new way. It is made of the finest quality materials and will give years of service. The Keepsake Stuffer is an excellent bargain and will open up tremendous new profit opportunities for you. Complete operating instructions, a supply of balloons and clips are included so you may start immediately. The various aspects and versatilities of the keepsake stuffer will now be demonstrated. The first step is to make sure the chamber is on a flat, level surface. Use a table height that is comfortable for you. Next, the proper type of balloon should be used. For the best results, use only good quality 18-inch wide mouth stuffing balloons. There are two recommended methods of mounting a balloon on the keepsake stuffer. Before mounting, warm the balloon up by inserting the first three fingers of each hand into the neck and pre-stretching the opening. Warming up the balloon will give it more elasticity, enabling it to be easily stretched onto the chamber opening. The process of mounting the balloon is a 2-2-1-1 procedure. Stretch the balloon over the chamber opening by hooking the lip over two adjoining collar tabs. Then stretch it straight across the opening, hooking it onto two opposing collar tabs. Now stretch the balloon over the two remaining tabs. Pulling the balloon away from the body is the best method for those with long fingernails. With thumbs inserted, the balloon will be pinched. Notice that the fingernails are not touching the balloon. Taking the back side that is tight and hitting the two closest tabs on the collar, the balloon can be grabbed and stretched over the next two tabs. Now stretch the balloon over the two remaining tabs. The inflator has two separate ports. One end is the suction port, which has a screen on it. The application of the second port will be demonstrated later. Place the inflator upright on a smooth level surface with the screen exposed. The next step in creating the stuffing balloon is to set the keepsake stuffer on the top of the inflator. The valve in the bottom of the chamber is automatically opened when the chamber is placed on the inflator and all the air is evacuated from the chamber causing the balloon to expand. The balloon cannot be overinflated. It will be obvious when the machine should be turned off. The balloon will hit the sides of the chamber and the motor will make a different sound. Remove the chamber from the inflator and place it on a level surface. Neck sizes of balloons are different. This will cause some excess latex to be present around the opening of the machine. This is not serious. There are a couple of things that can be done to compensate for this. Insert the stuffing sleeve to push back the excess latex. The stuffing sleeve is a device that allows cumbersome or sharp items to be inserted into a balloon easily. A second way is to fold the excess latex up over the opening of the machine. The balloon is ready to be stuffed with a gift. Make sure the gift is upright. Dismounting the balloon from the stuffing collar is just like peeling an orange. Carefully peel the lip of the balloon away from one tab with two fingers. Continue the procedure until the balloon is freed. Notice the balloon has not deflated. A vacuum pressure inside the ribs of the chamber keeps the balloon from deflating. Seal the balloon neck carefully by twisting and clipping. Allow the pressure to be released by pushing down on the balloon. Remove the chamber top and finish decorating the balloon with ribbons and bows. The chamber bottom holds the balloon while finishing the process. An arrangement using an 11 inch heart shaped balloon will now be demonstrated. The first step in using the rose stuffer mini stuffer is to lift the clear outer tube, stagger the flowers so they will not push against each other inside the tube. The rose stuffer, mini stuffer, has the option of using two different size vials, the single vial or the large vial which holds up to six flowers. 
Anything that fits into the mini stuffer tube can be stuffed into five inch balloons or larger. Three fingers from each hand should be inserted into the neck of the balloon. The back side of the balloon is held tight against the tube. The balloon is pulled over the top of the tube. Pulse the inflator until the balloon is the appropriate size. Gently slide the tube down. The floral arrangement is inside. The top of the tube should be level with the upper portion of the vial. To dismount the balloon, pinch the balloon neck and pull it off the tube. It will automatically seal onto the vial. Balloons tend to discolor with time, but by using Stay Clear, balloons can look as shiny tomorrow as they do today. Stay Clear is a milky white substance that can be painted onto the balloon. Once the balloon is coated, it will take about seven to 10 minutes to dry. When the Stay Clear dries, balloons look crystal clear and will stay that way for two to three weeks in a store display. Stay Clear is not normally put on balloons that are sent out with the customer, but an extra charge can be added if the customer would like Stay Clear brushed onto the balloon. Remember that this is a new way of gift wrapping and the balloon is usually popped in a day or two to remove the gift. A full bouquet of flowers is the gift used for the next balloon. When a large bouquet is used, two people may be needed. Wrap a sheet of mylar around the bouquet so the arrangement can be easily inserted into the chamber. Work the machine down over the flowers and release the balloon. This makes a nice birthday or Christmas gift. Stuffing a very large plush animal into a balloon can be an amazing process for the customer. This is a unique stuffed balloon and one that can be displayed throughout the store. A large inflatable item such as a basketball can be stuffed into a balloon. Insert an inflator needle into the valve of the basketball to deflate it. The stuffing sleeve makes it easy for a rubber item like the basketball to slide into the balloon. Once the item is inside, the inflator hose is placed over the needle. Blow up the basketball with the inflator. This type of operation can be done with any type of inflatable ball. The process takes about two to three minutes. Remove the needle from the valve when the ball is inflated. This makes a nice birthday or Christmas gift for a child. This demonstration will show how the balloon can be supported with a great amount of weight inside the balloon. Using a low temperature glue gun, Put two spots of glue on opposite sides of the bottom of the wine bottle. This enables the balloon to expand. Wrap monofilament around the bottle and suspend it outside the balloon. Place shred inside the balloon and arrange around the bottle. Lay meats and cheese in the shred to add a unique touch. This makes a lovely gift basket. An item that shouldn't be left out is a designer balloon. The unique thing about a balloon like this is the gift is hidden and yet it is a beautiful balloon. First arrange a sheet of mylar in the balloon. Next insert the designer bag, making sure that a monofilament line has been tied to the handle of the bag. Put the gift inside the bag. Add a final touch to the balloon with a number one dad hat glued on top. A nice looking happy birthday gift for dad. In this video, we have demonstrated how to operate the keepsake stuffer as well as provided ideas and suggestions for attractive arrangements. The more the keepsake stuffer is used, the quicker and easier balloon stuffing will become. The only limitation to what can be done with a keepsake stuffer is your imagination.